Hayden, and welcome back to The Nightly Show. Our first announcement is Thanksgiving break is starting on Wednesday. The Iron Knights Club is, starts on the 19th at 6.50 before school and 2.30 after school. And now it's time for the weekly weather. Hey everyone, welcome back to the nightly weather. I'm Jenna and this is the weather for the week. This week it's going to be damp and cold, so heat up your cars before you leave, just so they're nice and warm before you get to school. The highs for this week are going to be around 52, 53, 55, 58, and 55 degrees. Our lows for the week are going to be around 37, 44, and 39 degrees. On Tuesday and Friday we're going to have chances of rain. I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving break and I will be back soon. Thanks Jenna. Deck the Halls forms are due on the 4th and the competition starts on the 7th. And now here's a segment from Emily and Rachel's podcast, Crime Coops. Hi, I'm Rachel from Crime Kooks, um, and this is a clip from our latest episode about Ted Bundy. I have been told so many times, if you're going to murder someone, hide the body in a cemetery. Not only do not a lot of people go there, but like if you just bury it, I mean, who's going to count? That's true, but I feel like, see, there's always that soil displacement. I mean, I know in the 70s they didn't know a lot about that, but there's like a way of knowing if something's an unmarked grave. Well, there's also the fact that they're probably looking hard for this girl, because as you said, um, her fr friend's father gave her um, the keys to a car to pick up something. Yeah. So people were looking for her. People knew she had gone missing. Thanks guys. Homeroom door decorating starts on December 9th. And now here's Jenna with a review of an energy drink. Hey guys, uh, I'm Jenna and I'm gonna be cracking open a Monster Energy Rehab, which is PhD. Nice. And <laughs> it smells like the Lipton PhD that we have at school. Yeah, that's peach tea. <laughs> it's really just peach tea. It's basically just Lipton iced tea with, I guess, energy in it, which you can't really taste. And it's not carbonated, so no need to worry about burping in the middle of class. That's my review. It's I give it a 9 out of 10. It's pretty good. It could be carbonated. That'd be nice, but it's not. So it's quite good. Thanks, Jenna. Now time for Pet of the Week. This is Maya Walker's dog. Seniors, don't forget to get your caps and gowns at Herf Jones. Hey guys, this week I'm going to be showing you how to change an inner tube on a bike tire. First, you're going to need a couple things. An inner tube that will fit your wheel, and then some bike levers. You can get these at your local bike store or even Walmart. You're also going to need either a CO2 inflate or a conventional bike pump. First thing you want to start doing is to get the bead off of the tire. You could use your tire levers to help you this, but basically you want to make sure it's away from the actual wall of the wheel. And then you're also going to want to unscrew this if you have a pressed valve. If you have a straighter valve, which is the little short stubby ones, come out. All right, once you have it all your, the bead off, you're going to want to start to pull the tire and then you're going to want to stick your one of your tire lever at, under the actual tire just to get it. And then once it's like that, you can see the tire starts to pull away from the ball. And you're going to want to put that onto one of your spokes. And then you're going to take your second tire lever and stick it up by the first one. And go all the way around so the tire starts to come off of the wheel. And then once you've done that... You can take this tire lever off and take the actual tire off. Once your tire is off, your inner tube from, should come with it and you could take it out. Everything is off the wheel. You're going to want to grab your new inner tube and your old tire or a new tire if you're replacing it. It doesn't matter if there is a hole in the tire because it doesn't hold any air, the actual inner tube is what holds there. And then you're going to want to put the inner tube inside of the tire, making sure there are no pinches. It should just go in there, no pinches. 
and then you're gonna wanna find your hole that your valve was in, and you're gonna wanna put your valve back into that hole and start to put the bead of the tire back onto the wheel. This may take a little stretching and that is completely normal. Just make sure you don't pinch the inner tube or it could cause another hole and you have to go get another inner tube. Once your tire is back on the wheel and the beads are in the wheel, you're going to want to grab your little lock ring if you have a Presta valve like I do and you're gonna wanna screw that in so the post does not move. All right, and then once your post is secure, you're gonna wanna grab your air pump. I'm going to use the manual pump and not the CO2 this time. And then you're gonna wanna go slow, slowly for the first couple pumps just to set the bead. And then one, and you'll hear a little pop. See that, there was that little pop I was talking about and I'm going to pump these up to 60 PSI because that's what I'm running them. But pump them up it to your desired air. After you're done, take your pump off. You press to tighten it. And there you go. You successfully changed a bike inner tube. Now it's time for drip of the week. Alright, my name is Parker Runs. And I'm helping my friend Aiden out with this. So first off, we have my shoes. This cost would maybe I guess around like 128 from max. And I got my foot pants on. Probably like maybe 20 bucks, 15 to 20 bucks. Sure, I got those for free. You know, 2023 all the way. And then you know, I got my uh, my no brakes, no gears, no fears hat. Probably around 25 bucks. Simple. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week.